I'm doing a special recap for my favorite exotic of all time, and because I love hockey weapons, the Revision Zero. Now, now the Revision Zero, it, it looks amazing. Now, for those who just got the, who just fully upgraded their Revision Zero and not knowing how to fully upgrade this weapon, and don't worry, I'll help you out with this. Now, first off, the last perk you need fitted stock because without the Without fit of stock, I will take short action stock. For example, you you get 85 recoil direction. And, and with plus with fit of stock, it will automatically get you know, get to 100 recoil direction. Not only that, you also gain increased stability, but you lose handling. But that don't matter. But we'll get that to an example a little later. But right now, fit of stock, which means you no longer need the quote unquote airhead break on this weapon. You only need polygonal rifling with this weapon. Yeah, because out of all of them, out of all the barrels, the polygonal rifling is the best one out of all of them. Uh, close to say small bore, but you're only going to need polygonal rifling. As you can tell, 100, 100 stability when in 4 burst round mode, mode, but we'll get to that in a moment. Second, you're going to need ricochet yeah, for this weapon. Boosts slightly on the range and stability more. And then we get to the third column, which is the big part. <coughs> now, PvP, I know what I'm going to say. Elemental Capacitor, without a doubt, S tier. Grab it, you know, without questions. Uh, Perpetual Motion, it's not bad. It's not bad if you are using other subclasses other than Arc. But this one is basically the king when you're using Arc 3.0. Now, the alternatives right here is Eye of the Storm is also not bad uh, too Ooh, and moving target but I would recommend moving target if you are warlock with fitting in aspects not just aiming down sight more faster but you also gain increased movement speed and target acquisition when you're moving while uh, aiming down the sights it's we will get to PVE in a moment, but slick draw. Sure, you can go with slick draw, but I would not recommend it because it, it will decrease target acquisition, and I just don't recommend it as that point. So, yeah, no point. All right, for a catalyst of choice, whoops, is uh, feeding frenzy. You don't want this. Is under pressurized refrit. We got 100 stability, so we don't need. The re the extra stability increase in accuracy. Outlaw is pretty much the best for this one for PV for PVP players like myself. Now, if you are PVE players, it's very simple. Vorpal weapon and four times the charm. You will love it. Trust me. And that's about it. And that is it. But before I stop, let me let me go over the revision zero. You see it has a hundred stability and has eighty handling, and you see the range? Well if I swap to two burst round it has it it changes itself to a hundred range instead of instead, but you lose twenty on stability. But if I go to Void 3.0 Bam. Now not only you just have 100 recoil direction, you will also have 100 range and 100 stability at the price of handling. Uh, Warlocks with affinity aspects has an easier time boosting handling for this weapon whenever they are in two burst rounds. While others, we gotta struggle while well investing, well, kinetic targeting and kinetic dexterity mods in order to massively boost the handling of this weapon yeah, due to the handling being 30 but with the fitting aspects you have no problem you know, boosting it massively going into two burst round that's about it i hope this video helps and this is excalibur signing out